Good morning, church family. I am gonna invite you into another one of these movement prayers. So what is this all about? We are trying to figure out how not only to help this video style of church feel a little bit more like something that you and your family can do together, kids and families, but we're also attempting to try to help the kids learn how to pray. And one of the best ways to do that is through the Psalms. This exploration is trying to bring the images and the words of the Psalms to life through getting off the couch and moving around and embodying the imagery that we see. So doing this, we hope it'll help us have a richer conversation with God. I must admit, praying with kids can be a bit of a challenge. So I'm hoping these videos are helpful resources and parents, if you want to try any of these out, you can go to our YouTube channel and you can see uh, quite a number of movement prayers that we've been doing over the course of the summer and now into the fall. I hope it's a helpful resource to help engage the topic of prayer with your kids. So guys, this Psalm is about how we can have a close and intimate relationship with God, that he knows everything about you, that he thinks about you, that he cares about you. And so we can cherish that. All right, you guys ready? Last week we did Psalm 139 and we did part of it. We're gonna finish it. Did you know it's that long? No. Okay, it is no. super long. <laughs> super long. <laughs> this long. You guys seem more awake than last time. So this is talking about God. This is someone praying to God. Okay, and we're gonna try to do the same thing. For you shaped me inside and out. You knitted me together in my mother's womb long before I took my first breath. I will offer you my grateful heart, for I am your unique creation, filled with wonder and awe. You have approached even the smallest details with excellence. Your works are wonderful. Bless you. I carry this knowledge deep within my soul. You see all things. Nothing about me was hidden from you. As I took shape in secret, carefully crafted in the heart of the earth before I was born from its womb, you see all things. You saw me growing, changing in my mother's womb. Every detail of my life was already written in your book. You established the length of my life before I ever tasted the sweetness of it. Your thoughts and plans are treasures to me, O oh God. I cherish each and every one of them. How grand in scope, how many in number. If I could count each one of them, they would be more than all the grains of sand on the earth. Their number is inconceivable. That's a fun word to say. Can you guys say inconceivable? Inconceivable! When I wake up, I am still near to you. I wish you would destroy all the wicked, oh God. So keep me away from those who are thirsty for blood, for they say such horrible things about you, and those who are against you abuse your good name. Is it not true that I hate all who hate you, Eternal One? Is it not true that I despise all who come against you? Deep hatred boils within me toward them. I am your friend, and they are my enemies. Explore me, God, and know the real me. Dig deeply and discover who I am. Put me to the test and see how I handle the strain. Examine me to see if there is an evil bone in me and guide me down your path forever. Oh, and that's a bit of a weird spot, isn't it? The idea that David would go to praying about how great God is to, to asking God to destroy wicked people, is that a bit weird? But perhaps being in the presence of God and being so close to his goodness, it actually makes him so much more aware of, of how well, not so good people can be at times. Ultimately, David asks what we should ask because we aren't all good, are we? We have things that we do that aren't so great. And David asks God to examine him, to search him, to know him, and to point out anything that's in contradiction with God. This is what this prayer can be about, us inviting God to see all of our lives and holding that up to God and asking God to show us what he's like and God can make us more like him. So I hope this prayer is helpful. Amen? Amen. Amen, Rod? Amen. All right, Rowan, were you ever a little bitty baby? Were you ever in mommy's womb? No. No? How'd you get here? That's another conversation. He knows your favorite color is pink. 
He knows your favorite food is sushi. Do he know my favorite yellow too? Yeah, he knows everything about you. He knows your he knows your first and your second favorite color. Yeah. And this prayer is asking God to see if there's anything in us that he's not so crazy about. So let's do our movement prayer thing and engage this psalm. All right, why don't we stretch first? Mm. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. Okay, does anybody know what knitting looks like? Just move your fingers back and forth, just like this woman. God knit you together, guys. Yeah, that's fun. I will offer you my grateful heart. So can you make a heart with your hands? And can you offer it to God? Yeah, offer it to God. Yeah, that's, that's a really good idea. So let's do it again. Can you offer God your heart in this prayer? Yeah. You established the length of my life before I ever tasted the sweetness of it. All right, so imagine your favorite food. Imagine trying it. Is it good? Oh, how excited are you? Are you needing some help imagining some foods? Here. Mmm. Yeah. Isn't this a wonderful prayer? Mmm. Your thoughts and plans are treasures to me, oh God. I cherish each and every one of them. How grand in scope. How many in number. So maybe we could think of something like stars, for example. Look up at the stars. Imagine you're looking at the stars. Imagine that God has many thoughts about you as the stars. Wow. Imagine God is thinking about you and me and how much he loves us. We can't even count them. Isn't it beautiful? Kind of blows your mind, doesn't it? All that counting. If I could count each one of them, they would be more than all the grains of sand on earth. Their number is inconceivable. So, can you imagine counting the grains of sand while you're at the beach? Try to pick up each one. Can you imagine counting that? Here, I'll help you out. So go ahead and picture yourself at the beach, trying to count how many grains of sand are at your feet. I wish you would destroy all the wicked, O oh God, so keep away from me those who are thirsty for blood so we're asking for god's protection against the mean people can you be mean can you be mean and then ask god to you know defeat the mean people even the meanness within us i am your friend isn't that wonderful guys give each other a hug give your parents a hug god is our friend yay Explore me, O oh God, and know the real me. So we're going to go on an exploration. Could you bring out your binoculars? Maybe walk around. If you've got a map, you can unfold it. Yep. And explore. Dig deeply and discover who I am. We're asking God to discover us. And you know, ultimately, he loves us. Give yourself a hug. Yeah. And let's just sit and think about that. And let the prayer wash over us. God loves you so, so much. Godspeed to you and your families. Bye, kids.